Welcome to Coffee Grounds. I'm here with Jeff Wallach from Wallach Garden Center. A lot of people are outside entertaining, and you know what that means. Cocktail time. And cocktails. And I mean, why not use all the beautiful herbs that you have in your garden? Exactly. They're underused, and it's just a great way to add a different twist onto your usual cocktail. All right, you're going to make a simple syrup, though, in a simple way, because this is tough for a lot of people. Exactly. So a simple syrup is just primarily uh, one part water, one part sugar. So we got all of our delicious herbs that you can use. We got some sugar in here, and we're just going to add our water. So we'll dump that in there. We're going to stir that around, get it all dissolved, and then that's when we're going to add our uh, big bunch of herbs that we need. You're just here. grabbing all of them just together and stuffing them in there. in there. Yep. Let the sugar dissolve and then um, let it steep for about 30 minutes, and then we have our finished product here that you can use. It looks beautiful. I love it. All right, we're gonna show you all a basil gimlet. Yes, so this is one of my favorite. I, do, I don't like gin, so I use vodka. So we have our uh, simple syrup. We're gonna add some of that in there. Got our simple syrup with our vodka. And then we're gonna garnish it with some basil and then some edible flowers. And too. if folks don't want to add the alcohol, you can make a mocktail version. Exactly, you can use tea or you can use uh, lemon or lime juice. All right, you've got some other great ideas over here. Yep, if you don't want a margarita, uh, try a Paloma. This is um, one that we use for the rosemary simple syrup. And so it's rosemary simple syrup, tequila, and then we have some sparkling uh, grapefruit water here. Okay, bourbon, it's Kentucky, so you might as well do a bourbon drink, exactly. right? Exactly, so this is the Kentucky Mule, but this is going to be the uh, mint and lemon thyme. We got some ginger ale and then any bourbon that you like. Okay, these beautiful flowers, not just to look at, but you can actually eat these. Exactly. This is a potato vine leaf, so this is great to use. Who knew? And then we also have some edible hibiscus and then even petunias. All right, for more details, go to wallage.net.